O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without end. Amen. Alleluia. My soul, find peace in God alone. From him comes my salvation. It is he who is my refuge and my safeguard. My stronghold, I shall never be shaken. How long will you assail a man and band together to crush him? Like a toppling wall or a falling fence. They plan to thrust him down from his high place. They delight in lies. With their lips they bless but a curse is in their hearts. My soul, find peace in God alone, for he gives me strength to endure. It is he who is my God and my safeguard, my stronghold, I shall never be shaken. In God is my salvation and my glory. God is my strength, my refuge is with God. Trust in him, all you people together. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. The children of Adam are as nothing. The children of men are a deceit. Weigh them in the scales and they rise. They are lighter than a puff of smoke. Put no trust in violence. Do not be seduced into robbery. And if riches come, do not count upon them. God has spoken once and for all. Two things have I heard him say. That strength belongs to God and that mercy, Lord, belongs to you. For to each of us you give whatever our actions have deserved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without end. Amen. O God, take pity on us and bless us, and let your face shine upon us, so that your ways may be known across the world, and all nations learn of your salvation. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and rejoice. For you judge the peoples with fairness, and you guide the nations of the earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has produced its harvest. May God, our God, bless us. May God bless us. May the whole world revere him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, well without end. Amen.
Let us give thanks to God the Father, who has made us worthy to share in the light that is the saints' inheritance. He has rescued us from the power of the shadows and brought us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, thrones and dominations, principalities and powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. And so he is preeminent above all. For it was the Father's will that the fullness of God should dwell in him, and that through him all things should be reconciled to himself. Through the blood of the cross, he brought peace to all things, both on earth and in the heavens. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well with that end. Amen. Wrap yourselves in humility to be servants of each other, because God refuses the proud and will always favour the humble. Bow down then before the power of God now, and he will raise you up on the appointed day. Unload all your worries onto him, since he is looking after you. Guard us, Lord, as the apple of your eye. Guard us, Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Guard us, Lord, as the apple of your eye. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Guard us, Lord, as the apple of your eye. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my salvation. For he has shown me such favour, me, his lowly handmaiden. Now all generations will call me blessed, because the mighty one has done great things for me. His name is holy. His mercy lasts for generation after generation for those who revere him. He has put forth his strength. He has scattered the proud and conceited, torn princes from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. The rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered his mercy as he promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
At the end of the day, we give thanks to God the Father who reconciled the whole universe to himself in Christ. Glory to you, Lord God. We thank you for the beauty of creation. May the work of man not disfigure it, but enhance it to your greater glory. Glory to you, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for all the good things we enjoy. Teach us to be grateful and to use them well. Glory to you, Lord God. Teach us to seek the things that please you. Then we shall find you in all that we do. Glory to you, Lord God. Lord, as we journey towards the promised land, feed us with bread from heaven. Quench our thirst with living water. Glory to you, Lord God. To you, a thousand years are like a single day. Take up those who have died with hope in you and waken them into eternity. Glory to you, Lord God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, whose name is holy and whose mercy is proclaimed in every generation, receive your people's prayer and let them sing your greatness with never ending praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.